Hey there, YouTube fam. Welcome back to our channel. Today, I have a fascinating story to share with you that involves two of the biggest shoe and sportswear companies in the world. But before we dive into it, make sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Now, let's get started. Alright, so here's the thing, I recently came across a small town in Germany that has a big secret. It's the hometown of the headquarters of both Adidas and Puma. Can you believe it? Two global giants in the shoe industry headquartered in the same small town. It's mind-blowing. Now, I know what you're thinking. How did this happen? Well, it's not just a coincidence. Adidas and Puma have a rich history and a long-lasting business rivalry that goes back several decades. And today, we're going to take a deep dive into their incredible journey. Let's start from the beginning. We have Rudolf Dassler, also known as Rudy, born in this very town we're talking about, in 1898. And two years later, his younger brother, Adolf Dassler, or Adi, was born in the same town. Their parents had their own businesses, one running a laundry business and the other involved in shoemaking. In 1924, the two brothers decided to start their own shoe company in their mother's laundry room. Adi was the designer and shoemaker, while Rudy took on the role of the businessman and salesman. Their partnership worked perfectly, and their business started to flourish. The real turning point came in 1936 when the Olympics were held in Berlin, Germany. They managed to convince the legendary Jesse Owens to wear their shoes during the events, and it was a game changer. Jesse Owens became the star of the Olympics, and the Dassler Brothers Shoe Company gained immense attention and success. But just as everything was going well, World War II struck, and the company faced tremendous challenges. The war demanded a shift from athletic shoes to boots and equipment for the soldiers. Rudy and Adi had to adapt their production accordingly. Now, it's important to note that during World War II, Germany was part of the Axis powers, while the Allies fought against them. Rudy and Adi, being from Germany, were associated with the Axis powers, including the Nazi party. As the war intensified, tensions grew between the brothers. In 1943, the Allied forces bombed their hometown, and Rudy and his wife sought refuge in a bomb shelter. When Adi and his wife arrived, Rudy made a remark that was misinterpreted by Adi, leading to further animosity between them. The war had a profound impact on their relationship and the company. Rudy was chosen to fight in the war and believed that Adi had a hand in it. Additionally, Rudy was later arrested and sent to an American POW camp, further fueling their rift. Eventually, a couple of years after Rudy's return, the brothers decided to split the company. They divided everything between them, creating two separate entities. Adi named his company Adidas, derived from his own name, while Rudy initially named his company Ruda but quickly changed it to Puma, a much cooler name, if you ask me. The split had a significant impact on their small hometown. It became a divided town, with children attending separate elementary schools depending on whether their parents worked at Adidas or Puma. The rivalry between the two companies was intense. And you know what? This rivalry didn't just stop at manufacturing great shoes. Marketing played a crucial role in their competition. Adidas introduced their iconic three stripes design, instantly recognizable and an extension of their original two stripe design. They even went as far as suing Puma for designing a shoe with four stripes in a similar position. Marketing has been a driving force for both companies. But perhaps the biggest factor that propelled Adidas and Puma to success was getting athletes to wear their shoes. This strategy proved to be a game changer. From Jesse Owens wearing Adidas shoes during the 1936 Olympics to other iconic moments like West Germany's victory in the 1954 World Cup while wearing Adidas shoes and Brazil's triumph in the 1970 World Cup with Puma shoes, these endorsements brought widespread attention and success to both companies. It's fascinating to see how Adidas and Puma, once born from a small laundry room in their mother's house, grew into global powerhouses. Their rivalry has shaped the athletic footwear industry and left a lasting impact. Before we wrap up, I want to share a strange coincidence. This isn't the first time I've come across a business split between two brothers in Germany. Remember Aldi, the supermarket chain? It was also divided due to a dispute between two brothers. Is there something in the water? It's definitely an intriguing thought. Alright, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed diving into the history of Adidas and Puma with me. If you found this video informative and entertaining, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing stories. If you have any thoughts or theories about the Adidas Puma rivalry or any missing pieces in their story, let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.